Yo, what is up? It's still here. And uh, this is sort of a follow-up commentary from the one yesterday. And in this commentary, I'm going to explain. Well, I'm going to talk about quite a lot of things. Um, like obviously about Black Ops 2. So let's just start with the basics. The design of like the covers and stuff. I think it's, I think it's too similar to Black Ops, like the first one. Like, I think they really should have changed it around a bit. Like I'm just going to have a look at the cases now. And in all fairness, they are very similar. <laughs> like with the person on the front. Like I don't know. Uh, the back of it's. I suppose the back of it's sort of better because it sort of gives you like a little. <coughs> like obviously, if you went for the update or what, you can sort of see what the campaign, multiplayer, and zombies is gonna look like, which is a pretty good idea, I suppose. Um. So yeah, the. the Designs are very basic, I suppose, but that doesn't really matter. It's sort of more about the game. So, obviously, as I said in my other commentary, I don't really like the fact there's no sleight of hand and stuff like that, and that uh, the red gun is sort of has an advantage. But this commentary is going to be a bit different. It's going to be uh, what I sort of thinks good and what I sort of thinks not good at this moment in time. So obviously. I've only had it a day, while well, at the point of doing this commentary, like five hours, well six hours. Um, so yeah, I've constantly been playing level 26 now. Um, yeah, I thought I was noob for the first day, but I probably won't be on it much tomorrow because I'm out. Um, so the DSR, it's an alright sniper, I suppose. Don't really get many hit markers with it. Um, the cockback time it could be faster I suppose but I suppose the damage sort of makes up for that like if you put FMG on the damage will go full and so on um, the best attachments that work for me so far are fast mag obviously for that little bit faster reload time and uh, extended mags obviously so you can sort of avoid having to reload as much but the usual attachments I'd go for is extended mags and I think it's the ballistic CPU because that reduces sway um, I've been using the ACOG as well I got a, well it was a split quad but it was quite quite faded but obviously I'm new to the game so that's quite good for my first day um, what else am I actually going to talk about Oh, my I can't really say that I have a favourite map at the moment because like, I, I haven't even played all the maps yet like I've been playing for about 4 hours and a map came up and I was like whoa I haven't even played this map before which I thought was pretty weird seeing as I've been playing but up to now I've probably got to say that Hijack is my my favourite map just because it's like it's a nice it's ha uh, high speed um, well f fast pace shall I say uh, there's quite a lot of opportunities to sort of get like feeds and stuff like that. And so I, I won't really say many triple clats line up there while on that map because I, I don't know it's it's too bendy and like, it's it's quite narrow and stuff like that. But it is a really good map. Um, this map that we're playing on here, it's I, I won't really say it's a sniping as such map. Map I, I'd probably recommend to put an aircraft on and run around with that. Because when I was playing Hardpoint, I think it's called, uh, I was just running around using an ACOG. And uh, yeah, I was doing pretty well. Did a stupid mistake here and I die. It's a bit of a disappointing. So I say that I was going 23-5. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually quite good at this game considering I've only had it a few hours because, like, I don't know, usually I'd be going really negative and stuff, but I've actually got quite a good KDR. I think it's about 1.8. Which is actually pretty good. Most, I mainly snipe as well. I just thought I'd give this reg gonna try. Like obviously I've used it before because I've unlocked stuff, but yeah, I'd highly, highly recommend using that. I don't even know which one it is. Oh, the MTAR. It's good, good accuracy, good short to mid range. It's not too bad at long range, I suppose. If you just uh, tap it, but yeah, that's probably about it. Um, my favorite game mode so far, I would probably have to say rather. Uh, headquarters, hard point, or domi uh, domination. 
just simply because they're the only ones that I've really played and they're all quite fast paced like with headquarters obviously all the team just sort of rush into it and you can just run in spray and pray basically <laughs> my favourite gun so far um, well, I've been playing a bit of combat training as well to sort of get used to it um, probably play about an hour of that well about 40 minutes I'd say and the ballista I think it's called uh, it's an alright gun <coughs> if, you, if you're accurate with it so if you get like chest and upwards or obviously to the head it is very good but if you're gonna waste waste down stomach area it's you're gonna get a lot of hit markers um, it's very it's really accurate gun um, I would recommend it a lot if you're accurate as I've said um, the DSR I like it obviously it cocks back too slow as I've always said but I suppose you can get over that. I'd so I'd probably use that as more mid to long range. Um, but yeah, it is a really good gun. Um, what else? The I can't remember what the last sniper's called. It's like it's a semi-automatic. It's sort of like the Barra, I guess you can say. But that gun for me, when I was playing combat training again, a lot of hit markers. Like it was just constantly hit marker, hit marker. So I might use that in the future. I'm not too sure. Um, my favourite submachine gun. I'd probably say that would have to be rather the Vector or the MP7. Like the MP7 is actually not that bad in this game as what it was Modern Warfare 3. Like uh, Modern Warfare 3, it was just overused, overpowered. Uh, but in this game, well, when it's all the guns in this game are sort of the more balanced, which is good. But uh, the MP7 in this game is alright, it's, it's mid, good at mid to long, uh, close to mid range, it's not too bad at long range, I suppose if you tap it, but that's how you use the gun. Uh, I, I think it's called the k pow the other gun, that is not too bad at, uh, again, short to mid range, it's got a nice nice round size, <coughs> it's got a, a nice fire rate. Oh, that guy's supposed to have to drink here. Um, it's got nice fire rate. Uh, and that's probably about it for that. Like I was, I was using it with extended mags. Like I picked it up, and it is quite good. You could probably get about you get 65 in a round with extended mags, 50 standard. So I suppose you could probably get about five kills. To be fair, if you're quite accurate, maybe probably even more. To be fair, it's about five kills. But obviously, you're not going to get the full round offs because you're going to miss three or four bullets every time. Um, I can't really say anything about shotguns or like machine guns because I haven't used them. Um, I was talking to uh, one of my friends in a party and he said he got an on-screen five man with a shotgun. He didn't say which one but that's all he said and people have been saying that I've powered and stuff like that. But I suppose it's a new game so they're going to change it around and <coughs> obviously tweak things so that it's just what happens secondaries um, I haven't really used secondaries like the 5.7 obviously that's from Black Ops I think I'm not too sure I think it is I didn't really play much Black Ops like the first one um, and then I can't remember what the second one is and then the third one it's sort of like a bit like the Rafika from uh, Modern Warfare 2, like it's a three three on burst, and it's it's actually alright. Like you could use it medium range to be fair, because it is quite accurate and it is quite powerful. Just considering it's a pistol. Um, the gun I picked up here was a fad. It's absolutely atrocious. Just to let you all know, <laughs> you're probably getting the modders bumming over that. Um, launchers, obviously it's a standard small. I don't know what this one is, I'm guessing there's an RPG in there as well. Um, light machine guns, obviously I've said I haven't used that. Um, no, I think that's it actually guys. Oh, and just for all these that, like, if you, if you don't, well if you haven't got Black Ops, or you do intend on getting Black Ops, when you prestige, you get prestige tokens, which obviously you can unlock stuff, it's a lot like Modern Warfare 3 if you think about it. But anyway guys, uh, this commentary is coming to an end now so yeah I'm gonna go to bed now it's late for me so yeah peace guys